Apple just unveiled some amazing new tech at the WWDC 2022 event. While the news about iOS 16 and the M2 chip were exciting, equally interesting was the segment of passkeys and a promise of a true passwordless future. We call them passkeys. Let's discuss. Okay, so what are passkeys and why does Apple want you to ditch passwords completely? Well, simply put, passwords are not a good security measure anymore. If you listen to our podcast with Alexander Valenti, Surfshark security officer, you will know this by now. Do you know that actually that Facebook allows you to make mistakes in your password? That's crazy. Go check out that episode right here, by the way. Passwords have a ton of problems. Firstly, good passwords are really hard to remember. People tend to reuse them and make really simple ones which are not secure. Another problem is password storing. When you sign up for a website like LinkedIn or Facebook, your credentials have to be stored in databases. Those databases can be breached, and this happens every single day. And if your password gets leaked out there online, you have to change it as soon as possible. Lastly, passwords are also susceptible to phishing attacks. That is where someone will pretend to be someone they're not and make you sign in with your password on a fake website. For example, you might get an email from someone who's pretending to be your employer. Then they might instruct you to log into your company's website. In reality, the page is not actually your company's, but just made to look like one to trick you into giving away your password. So with all of that being said, you can see just how many weaknesses passwords really have. So let's take a look at Apple's passkeys. This is an attempt to completely replace passwords with a smarter and much more secure system. The way it works is that when creating an account for website or app, Apple will create a unique digital key that only works for that particular site or application. That digital pass key is then stored only on your computer and is not being placed on a server of any kind. This completely solves the problem of password data breaches. And it also solves the problem of password phishing since pass keys only work for websites they were created for. So when a malicious actor sends you a fake website, a passkey will reject it. Lastly, passkeys are also synced via Apple Keychain, so they will work across all Apple devices that you own. What are our thoughts about passkeys? Well, we think that this is a great way of bringing private key authentication to a much wider audience, because up till now, this security measure was only limited to Linux and more geeky Mac users. Passkeys have a chance of truly making a giant leap forward for online security. And just the thought of not having to remember my complex password fascinates me. This will also be huge for non-tech savvy users like my parents who just don't want to bother with complicated phrases and symbols for their passwords. However, as Apple said themselves, the journey to implementing passkeys will be a long one. Such a system will require a lot of effort from developers of various services. Apple did state that it's working with the Fido Alliance, Google, and Microsoft to make this journey faster and bring into other platforms. But that doesn't mean that non-Apple devices will see passkeys coming anytime soon. Unlike Apple, Windows and Android simply doesn't have a keychain system. So these private sign-in keys would have to be stored somewhere and hey, maybe in the future there will be an update for other platforms to make this happen. Something else to consider with passkeys is the fact that it would only use biometric information to log in. You see, fingerprint scanners and cameras aren't always reliable. For example, during rainy weather, scanners tend to refuse to authenticate your print. Let's also not forget that there are still millions of devices that simply do not feature a fingerprint scanner. So that's what we think of Apple passkeys. Overall, our thoughts that it's a great system and I am patiently waiting to try out passkeys myself and see how other platforms will adopt this new system. And that is all for this video. Let us know what you think of Apple passkeys in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, then give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. By the way, here are two more videos that I think you'll like. But that is all for me. Take care.